No. Oh, ten minutes early. I'll bug it up again. <laughs> oh, far out. <laughs> I'm just glad I caught this one. <laughs> yeah, un unfortunately, I, I bug it up there again. <laughs> uh, could have been worse, Blake. <laughs> you you should have heard what I was saying. Um, when when I first opened up the the live stream and and seen that there was about fifty messages of them saying that I was live an hour early. <laughs> that kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> but hello, hello, hello. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> it's good to see good to see everyone in here um nice and early. Uh, hi Craig. Hi Fisher Tanks. Hi Eric. <coughs> Great to see you all in here nice and early and let's see if I can fix this down camera because now we're out of whack. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit better. I do have a couple of betas there, Eric. Um, <laughs> I actually have one in this nice big community tank behind me. So, um, we got one in there and I've got one up in my planted tank up in the shed. So, when they say male betas can't go in community tanks, they can. <laughs> yeah, Fisher, I'll do that. I'm still playing with Discord and trying to learn how to use it. <laughs> You're actually the first one that noticed... Um, Noticed I'd put the, I'd started putting that on my um video description without me even actually having to tell anyone so <laughs> so glad glad you picked up on that <laughs> um still in the middle of um making the discord and getting everything ready for that um since the Facebook page and that wasn't working too well so um <clears throat> definitely. Definitely going to go off the Discord. That seems a little bit easier to, to follow and understand, and hopefully it'll be a lot easier to communicate with you guys um, away from the videos. So, so that's all good. So, probably one of the biggest things I've done this week is I've gone out and brought more tanks. <laughs> Even though I said I wasn't going to for a while. Um, I, I kind of did anyway um, because I realized I needed a couple more tanks to grow out um grow out some babies that I hopefully get in the near future um, we have started the <laughs> um, I have started the breeding project for the rosa barbs that's why you don't actually see them hanging around at the front of this tank hoping to be fed um, they're all up at the up in the shed at the moment in in their breeding tank um, so tomorrow they should be pulled out and hopefully we'll have some babies in the next week or two so they've been in there for three days now um, so hopefully we've got some got some eggs being laid in there we've been conditioning them with um, blood worms tuber flake worms and some uh, micro pellets from uh, Hakari. <coughs> so yeah, one of the tanks is going to be used for um, growing out the rose barbs, and the other one I'm not sure yet. I just like having a spare tank sitting there if I ever need one. 
Um, I haven't actually noticed if they're laying any eggs, but I do know the Rosa Barbs have been breeding because there are. I have had babies full um, from them actually in this main tank, so they have laid eggs, and there has been eggs hatching in the main tank. Um, but I do have a fair few bigger fish in there, so the ones that survived are very, very lucky. Um, so that's why we're going to put them in their own tank, um, at least get one batch out of them, so I can hopefully put sort of, um, I want to put sort of 20 into the, into the turtle tank when I get it up and running, which should be in the next week or two. Um, we're gonna get, gonna get that up and running. Um, probably tomorrow I'm gonna go buy the, go buy the cement to do the cement wash on the waterfall, waterfall on that. Um, the waterfall is actually gonna be put in place tonight. Um, I'm gonna silicone that in in place tonight, ready for. <coughs> ready for all that to go go ahead and also muck around and make a um, slide system so the island can slide up and down within the tank um, depending on the water level so that's what I'm going to be doing basically straight after the live stream um, I don't actually have accessibility to take his up and show you what's going on at the moment because I'm on Streamlabs and not um, StreamYard um, so we can't get can't go off and up and show you all that, that but I'll try and I'll do a StreamYard one next week and do, do a full tour, tour next week but um, this week I actually wanted your guys opinion so hopefully this shows up. <clears throat> um, I do have a bit of a poll going. Um, I set it up just before the stream. Um, so it's actually to do with my shrimp tank. Um, so I'm gonna let everyone in the in the chat tonight decide what I do with my sh two shrimp tanks. Um, I have long arm shrimp in my four foot planter tank and planter grow out tank in the shed but I do have two small tanks of cherry shrimp um, both mixed cherry shrimp I'm getting to that fisher <laughs> um, <clears throat> so the idea of the poll is just to see what what everyone else thinks um, so to vote what you do is you put the apostrophe um, vote. Actually, I'll try and work it out here. Um, so you put the the little um, example note underneath the poll there. Um, if you type in the apo uh, the apostrophe vote, then space, then one. Um, that'll give you the give you the um, Number one and the posture vote two should give you the, the second poll. <laughs> There's always one, isn't there, Blake? <laughs> I'm talking about my cherry shrimp. <laughs> my long arm shrimp I can go down and pick up and pick up in the hundreds down down at the local river, but at the moment the local river's in flood, so I can't even do your um your fish trap challenge <laughs> video so that's that's all sitting there and um, half filmed and ready to go I've just got to now go and do the whole whole fish part so I, I do hope that the poll is working um, it's supposed to be so I hope it is working um, But none of the votes are coming up. Why? 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 Damn it, Prony! I hope I got this set up right. <laughs> um. 
<laughs> but so far, everyone looks like they're voting for number two anyway. But I don't see the votes showing up on the stupid freaking poll. Ah, why is nothing working? Ah. <laughs> uh, good night, Eric. I'm glad you could come along. <laughs> Fish is trying everything. Um, uh, I was about the damn thing right. Yeah, damn. Uh, bloody hell. Bronny, I did what you told me to do and it doesn't seem to be working, but oh uh, well. I think I think I got my answer anyway. Everyone's voting for the second option. No, yeah, it says apostrophe vote space two. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why it's not working. But oh well. <clears throat> oh I don't know. I thought I set the bot up to work. <laughs> um. Okay, apparently I gotta set this cloud bot as a moderator. I haven't even seen the cloud bot. Oh wait, here we go. There you are. And a moderator. Okay. Maybe this will work now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so maybe it will work now because I think I just found where the bot was and turned him onto a moderator. So hopefully that works now, but I think I got my answer anyway. <laughs> Gotta love learning stuff while you're in the middle of the stream. Um <laughs> I don't know, I'll try it myself. <coughs> okay. Hopefully this starts working now. <laughs> um it told me to turn the stream bot onto a moderator, which I've done that, so let's see if it works now. If it doesn't work, I guess I'll just turn the turn it off and we'll try and work it out for next time. <laughs> Hi Josh, good to see you here. <laughs> uh doesn't seem to be working again. Oh well. I think I got the idea of the poll and everyone seems to give me a decent decent answer. I think that would I'll work it out through the week. Hi, <laughs> right, Laz. Good to see you here. Yeah, I'm just going to turn that poll off because I can't work it out. <laughs> um, <laughs> Boat 3. I don't have any of those. I don't have any big fish that um, would, eat, would eat the cherry shrimp, but the idea of putting them into the the four foot tank is to um, have them um, is to have them <laughs> basically boom and grow out grow out within the tank <laughs> uh, I could have a couple of weeks ago there were some juveniles in um in the local pet store but they wanted 200 bucks for them <laughs> 
Thanks there, Les. <coughs> but, um... <laughs> so, yeah, I think, I think I got the general gist that everyone wants me to throw them in. Throw them into the... Into the... Fucking big tank. Then go buy another big fish. Then feed them all to the big fish. <laughs> well, I do have that six foot sitting there that I don't know what I'm doing with yet. Um... If I can get the pole to work, that'll be the pole for next week. Um, so we'll we'll try and try and source that for next week to work this pole out. <laughs> I'll probably run a few test streams streams through the week. So <clears throat> if you do want to be part of those test streams, let me know and I'll send you out the link when I'm when I'm doing them. Um, Pardon me. Um, so we'll do that. Do that later. <coughs> yeah, I could do that there, James. Um, yeah, no, Lars, thanks for dropping in. So I suppose the other things we have to talk about tonight is I'm um, actually only 30... Um, 30 subs away from giving away a nice big planted uh, piece of driftwood. So um, that has some uh, crested java fern on it. And in the next couple of days, we'll also have some Anubius nana petite on it. And um, a couple of pieces of normal java fern. Uh, it's only been climbing very slowly there, Blake. <laughs> but I'm happy with an increase, whatever the number. <laughs> ah, good to see you here, um, Perth Cichlids. <clears throat> I don't mind lurkers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Prawny, I think you're going to be banned for this one. <laughs> <laughs> You've won the last two. <laughs> so, <laughs> I D W S Aqua, good to see you here. <coughs> um, uh, so what else do we have to talk about? So yeah, um, I'll actually see if I can. Uh, no, I won't pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks there james i'll i'll work something out through the week on on all that um <coughs> pardon me um so yeah we'll, we'll work something out with all with all that and um and work out this test stream and get the pole and everything working properly because I, I do like to have a little bit more um, interaction back with you guys through the streams and that. And I think doing polls and I've been working out a few other things by asking a few other YouTubers on here and different things that they use on on their streams and that to engage with you guys a little bit more. Um, and... And it seems to be, or well, it seemed to work <laughs> pretty good there. Um, the worst part is I've fucking started my stream ten minutes early by accident because I pushed the damn wrong button. <laughs> um, but yeah, what else do we have to to talk about tonight? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I've definitely got a um. Definitely got to improve my intros. Um, <laughs> I, I do have a video intro and everything, everything set up like the video intro I do for my videos. That that is sitting there ready to play. I I just seem to accidentally hit go live, or do something that automatically takes me live 
before I'm due to go live, so every, everything stuffs up, and um, <laughs> and and get things get things sorted out and nailed down. But I suppose that's that's all that's all part of the fun. And then it's probably where I got my one one dislike from. <laughs> um, saying a, a nice naughty word when I first turned on, but. That, that's nothing compared to some of the words I said um, when I when I saw a couple of people saying that I was live nearly an hour early and me frantically looking at everything to try and work out whether whether I was live and all that is gave me like a mini freaking heart attack there. Um, because <laughs> because to be to be realistically, I was sitting here in front of the computer eating eating dinner and. <laughs> and having a coffee, so it wouldn't have been the wouldn't have been the nicest view <laughs> view of the lot. <laughs> um, I was actually sitting here watching watching other YouTube videos and that, so it would have been only only a black screen really. So I actually didn't think I turned the camera on until about ten minutes before the stream went live. So <laughs> so he's had me freaked out there for a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, Blake, I hope I hope the new job goes um goes really well for you and it's gonna be a big bummer missing out on your your daily spam of videos <laughs> and the Monday night lives that that seems to uh, give me a bit of oh your Monday morning lives that's always good fun listening in at work <laughs> oh that is a nice job Um, so yeah, with the new, with the new fish room, I am going to be, um, going to be getting a inducted aircon, um, uh, similar to the one sitting up here behind me. Um, it's going into the, into the fish room, so, um, that should keep the, the temperature at a constant temperature all year round, then... Um, if I do fish that require a warmer temperature, I'll throw a heater in with them and heat that tank individually. And the fish that require a little bit cooler temperature, will throw down the bottom, bottom of the fish room and, <coughs> and, um, hopefully that'll be a, a cooler, cooler situation down the bottom. Hi Blake Howden. Hey Chev. Good to see you here. Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing there, Craig. Um, DWS Aqua just asked how I was heading the fish room. <clears throat> um, so that should all be happening in the next next couple of months. Um, I've just got to stop buying fish tanks <laughs> and um, and other equipment and start buying buying uh, materials and that to finish off the fish room so um <coughs> this week's sale was actually the last last one i'm going to be getting for a while so after um the review of the new hang on filter i think that'll be the last um last uh what is it your last review I'll do for a while, and um, and we'll be putting in some time and effort into actually trying to get that room finished and getting everything everything sorted. <coughs> um. Pardon me. Um, so, what else are we going? <laughs> <coughs> uh, 
Um, ah, crap. No, let's return to full thought. Um, ugh. Uh, so, yeah, so within the next week or two, there is going to be a video of me doing a bit of an aquascape. Um, a bit of an aqu aquascape for the. Um, for my little rounded tank that I used to have the waterfall in um, before I moved it into a smaller tank. So we'll um, be doing a, a bit of a video on that scape as well as it's going to highlight um, a few things that I got from Micro Aquatics Shop and um, also introduce the new affiliate program I have going with those guys to try and help the channel out a little bit um, by also giving you guys a, a bit of a, um, a discount with them as well as helping out the channel so hopefully that all goes well um, and that video comes out without a hitch I have had a, a bit of trouble with a couple of my videos lately, um, there was supposed to be another one coming out through the week, but it wouldn't let me upload. So I'm redoing that video for this week. Um, I basically had to re-edit that video, so I'm glad I had everything everything saved away to a databank. Um, so I'm basically re-editing that video and going to be putting that one out again this week, hopefully. So <coughs> um, that's all. All going good so far um, like I said we do have to do a couple more a couple more videos on on the new filter review and that but I'll do that after I get this with the scape done because one of those filters is going in the in the new scape um, And hopefully that all works well. I am keen to try these filters out because they do have a inbuilt um, floating skimmer. Um, so hopefully that all goes well. And uh, it'll be both the uh, Blake Hub um, doing hardscape and plants. <clears throat> um, I got a bit of hardscape off off micro aquatics as well as. A fair few plants, so um, I wouldn't oh, I wouldn't say a fair few plants, um, just a few rarer plants that I didn't have that we're going to throw into into this tank and hopefully watch grow and hopefully be able to propagate them, propagate them later on and send them off to people here here within the channel. So as giveaways and and stuff like that later on. Yeah, they are a little bit expensive there, um, there James, but uh, I think they look nice. Um, there is a lot of a lot of good stuff on there. Um, I'm going to be actually buying some uh, Darwin shrimp and some uh, red nose long. Uh, Red long nose shrimp, or what are they? Long nose red shrimp, or something like that. Um, they're actually um, pretty well pretty well priced. And I think some of the cherry shrimp are, are fairly well priced too. So um, we're going to be getting a few of the a few of the Darwins and and red long nose. So that's what's actually going to be going into that tank tank for stocking. So. That's why I went with the filter with the sponge already attached to it, and we're going to be putting some red root floaters and that on on top of it, and and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, with my red root floaters, we do have a bit of bit of duckweed in it. So that's the idea of having the the um. Uh, yep. The whole shed's going to be, uh, the whole shed area where the fish room is is going to be insulated, yes. Um, so, 
<clears throat> unfortunately, up where I live, we get temperatures down to um, minus 4, minus 5 in winter time, and in summertime, we get them up to 45 degrees. So in a tin shed, um, it's definitely going to have to be have to be um, insulated and cooled and heated as well. So, But in saying that, I have had that oil heater running in my fish room for about a month and a half and the power bill kind of tripled. <laughs> um, we're just having that and the IBC running, um, running the the canister filter and the um, yeah, running the canister filter and the two heaters in that tank to try and keep it warm. So this month we've, we've uh, this quarter we've taken a um, taken a big hit in in power. <clears throat> Yeah, Blake, um, my power bill went from um, 800 uh, last quarter, or 850 last quarter, to um, nearly 2,000 this quarter. Um, just for having having um, my heaters in the tanks running um, basically non-stop and just having that extra heater running and having the the extra two two big heaters. Yeah, so the the quicker I can get my um central air system up, um, which is going in the next next um few weeks as well. We're going down to get the the PVC pipe and everything with for that to run the central air system. And start start buying some more mats and putting some um, mat and filters in in most of my tanks and slowly start switching off the canisters and <clears throat> and hang on the backs and stuff like that. Um. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I remember when um that that used to be me. I used to have five or six tanks in my bedroom. <laughs> when I was a kid, and um, got promptly told after winter time, um, some of the tanks had to go because <laughs> the same sort of thing that the power bill went through the roof. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Central heating and central air, air and running basically all, all your filters as air filters, and um, Rumble's fish room is the best example of that. Um, his whole room, koi pond, everything runs on on air. So if someone says you can't filter a big tank on, on air alone. Um, he's definitely got a testament to that, <laughs> um, and definitely on what what you can do with air. So, so that's kind of a um, kind of a big thing for me. So yeah, I'll be definitely running this um, central air system very very shortly, and getting everything everything running on air again um, to try and cut down on. On the sort of power out, um, power output, as well as next year, I'm going to look at getting solar panels put on top of the shed um, to power both the the fish room and the and the house, as well as some batteries and that for backup. So if we have blackouts, at least I know the um, the fish room that will still still have power. Um, I'll put the the fish room on it on its own set of batteries, um, so it can at least run for twenty four hours without power. So that should keep keep everything going, going all right. <coughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I can definitely testify to that. That there, Blake. Um, whenever I'm having a bit of a run with the missus or have a bad day at work or something like that, it's always good to come home and just chill out in the fish room with um a nice cold, nice cold beverage and do a few water changes and and feed the fish and just sit down and watch watch fish. So. <clears throat> Yeah, I think it's just the therapy there, James. Um, like people are saying, like you can just sit there and just watch, um, watch the fish and and um and chill out. Really, it's it's relaxing watching fish just swim around and do their own things. I don't know where you're living, James, but 48 degrees outside, I've got an extremely funny feeling that you're not going to be going very far. <laughs> At that sort of temperature. <laughs> The same as just coming here and um sitting down talking to you guys on a Monday night, like I'm sitting here rambling on to myself basically, but <clears throat> it's good watching you guys write write stuff in the comments and <laughs> and answering questions in that. Well, Blake Howden, um funny you should say that. Where I'm sitting oh well, actually I'll be able to show you this. <laughs> Um, where I'm sitting is right next to my kitchen table. I hope I can see it my arm. Is right next to my kitchen table, and there is. I'll see if I can get it over my head. There is one tank sitting there behind me, next to the table, and up there on the kitchen bench there is another little one. So, um. <laughs> So, now I've got to refocus. <laughs> Bloody camera. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, the, um, I've got two fish tanks in, in the house. <laughs> um, <coughs> and... Um, <laughs> Yeah, so we've got a couple of, couple of tanks in the house. I did have a third one in, in the house actually sitting right here next to me, um, next to me table, but I got promptly told that had to go. <laughs> so, um, so that, that actually moved out to, out to the shed, um, after it crashed a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't really, um, allowed to keep that one here <laughs> um, so that one got, got moved out to the shed um, <laughs> yeah the way I got around getting this um, four foot tank here in the here inside was I actually brought it as a housewarming present for my girlfriend <laughs> um, she liked she um liked angelfish, so um she asked if I could keep angelfish for um so she could just watch the angelfish. So I said, yeah, sure, I'll um I'll sort that out. So when we moved in, one of the first things that moved into the house was the four foot tank. Um, shortly followed by 
all the plants and angelfish. <laughs> so. Yeah, Craig, I am going to have to keep my um, keep my shed cool. I'm hoping to have the insulation up by then. Um, in failing that, I'm just going to open the window in the fish room and put a fan in there to basically circulate the air. And um, hopefully they don't overheat. Um, they didn't overheat... Um, last summer, um, they were in the shed shed the whole summer. Um, this time they're in a smaller smaller area, so there is the chance that they'll overheat overheat faster. So I am going to keep an eye on the temperatures in the tanks, and if they do look like they're um, they're warming up too much, I'm going to turn turn the fan on and open the windows if I haven't got the aircon in by then. Um, but I'm hoping to have the insulation at least in um, before all that hap before summer rolls around. So, um, so yeah. So that's that's the idea there. Um, if I can get the um, get the insulation at least in, hopefully that'll keep the room room cool. If I don't get the aircon in. If I do, if I can't get the aircon in, I'll just put um, my fan on if it starts to get too hot. Yeah, I was doing that as well there, there Chev. Um, I was doing... <laughs> I'm a bad one for water changes. Um, I'm, I'm lucky if I change, change the water in most of my tanks once a month. Um, that's why I like running, running a lot of plants and that in my tanks. Um, I do do weekly water tests. Um, and if I see the, the parameters getting, getting a little bit out of whack, I do a water change, but, um, <clears throat> um, so, so, um, yeah, this tank behind me hasn't been cleaned in three weeks. Um, it's due for one. Um, but I was trialing something too. This um, airlift sponge filter here in the in the corner. Um, <clears throat> I was actually running. Uh, <coughs> um, I was actually trying to trying to see if it just worked as an airlift, but I'm definitely going to have to put the sponges back on because I have noticed that the tank's getting getting pretty cloudy where before it was um it must have been working it in the fact that it's um polishing the water a little bit. Um so I'll be doing another water change and putting <clears throat> um putting putting those back on. Well, James, yesterday I was an hour away from home. Uh, yeah, probably because I accidentally swore at the start of it. And um, probably because I just said I don't do water changes every week. That, that seems to get people off ticket because everyone preaches that you need to do a water change every week. I believe you only need to do a water change when you need to. Um, <coughs> that may change when I, if I go an automatic water change system in the shed, I might do weekly water changes then, but, um, like I said, I do weekly water tests. If they don't need it, I don't change it. That's why I have plants to help take away that extra waste and, and material. Hey Coopers, Aquatics, good to see you here. Um, <coughs> but yeah, like, why do a water change if you don't need to? <laughs> um, 
I know people like Blake does do the fifty percent water changes a week, but um, I'm, I'm sure not every tank gets the fifty percent water changes a week. <laughs> um, because I know he does have have a lot of tanks there, so I couldn't see fifty percent of water getting changed out of all the tanks each week. Oh, really? Well, that's surprising. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think I'd keep up with 50% water changes a week. Um, <clears throat> no, no worries there, Cooper. Um, <coughs> yeah, I tend to do most of my own water changes on Sunday when I'm mucking, when I'm mucking around in the fish room and I have a little bit extra time. Um, but like I said, I only change if I need to. Um, like I said, this four foot behind me, it gets changed, um, maybe every two to three weeks. Um, the little 20 gallon I have up behind, behind it, um, since being set up th three months ago. Three, yeah, maybe three months ago, I haven't changed the water once. Um, the parameters are still good. Um, the fish are still happy. There's no algae blooms in it. Um, everything, everything seems to be running really nice, really nice in that tank. And all I've done is um, top it up. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah, like I still do my buckets, so um at at the moment, so that's probably why I'm I'm a little bit more relaxed on my water changes. <clears throat> be a little bit easier. Hopefully it'll be a lot easier when I get um when I get the auto water change system if I go to the auto water change system. I've still gotta work out where I'm gonna put um Put uh, another IVC to to be able to fill up and be able to change the water water each week. Um, so yeah, that's true there, Blake. Um. Like I'm at the moment, I'm not doing a lot of breeding, so um, <coughs> um, so that that actually could be a reason why I'm not getting the pan checks to breed, um, as well as I want them to. I'm not changing the water as much as I probably should be, um, and the only tank I'm really having trouble with algae at the moment is the two foot one in the um is the two foot one in the in the shed with plants right in front of the window. Um that's getting a heap of natural sun as well, natural light as well. So um that's the main one that I've got algae problems with. Um but in saying that my plants are growing nearly twice as fast as the rest of the as the rest of the tanks because it is getting the natural light. Um, at the moment, I don't even have have the the light for that tank actually running. It's just going off the the natural light coming in from the sun. So, <coughs> so hopefully everything goes goes well in the next few weeks and we get a bit of breeding happening with the rosa barbs and everything else so we've got the rosa barbs going tomorrow i'm going to move the white cloud mountain minnows over into their tank and hopefully get them breeding um again <coughs> um i do have to redo do the video i've got on them <laughs> I've got to stop reading two chats at once. <laughs> um, 
Um, <laughs> Fisher, I, I do the same thing. I, I watch countless care guides and that of fish that I'll probably never keep. But in saying that, there's a lot of care guides I have watched and thought, yes, I'll never keep that fish. Um, but lo and behold, I actually keep a few of those fish now. Um, example is that nice whiptail cat um, sitting right there on the edge of the screen moving now. Um, He's one fish that I never thought I would keep. <laughs> I think it's just because I've been talking so much and I've been um, welding galvanized steel today. <clears throat> um, you know, like I said, Fisher, Whiptail Cat was one I never thought I'd keep. Uh, lo and behold, I have it. Um, Crabansis was another one I never thought I'd keep. Rams is another one I thought I'd never keep. Um, I have a pair of gold rams up in the... <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, I have another pair of gold gold rams up in the shed um, that were growing out. Hopefully I'll get those to breed. Um, if not, I'm not, not really too worried. Um... I suppose I do have a bit of a nervous cough. Like I'm, I'm still pretty nervous in doing these streams. I don't know why, but I know I think it's the whole, whole sitting here, talking to a screen, <laughs> and watching yourself talk. I think I'm a little bit conscientious, um, about what's going on, and I suppose still conscientious about what people think of me being on screen and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, I suppose it's something I'll. I've just got to get used to and, and slowly work through it. Um, it's the same with my video, well, my videos when I'm doing doing videos and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> and, and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, it's something I suppose a lot of YouTubers and that need to need to get over and it doesn't with me it's never really helped like i've been in the state emergency service for 10 years and still even now walking up to someone's door and knocking on someone's door that you don't know um it's it's still kind of nervous to me um and yeah, just walking up to someone's door, knocking on it and saying, like, I'm here from the state emergency service. Um, I believe he's called about a job. It's um, <laughs> it's just a little bit, bit hesitating still. So I suppose, um, <clears throat> so I suppose it's a bit the same sitting here talking, talking to you guys. Yeah, pardon me. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> I see Blake's, Blake's getting a few a few sales from my stream. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what else. Hi, Redfish, uh, Redfish Bluefish. Good to see you pop in. Um, let's clip the pole. Okay. Let's see if I can get this thing working properly. Um, <coughs> uh, da, 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 pardon me. Um, so, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what... 
else. Um, I actually have to to bring to you guys today. Um, I'm gonna give this poll another crack. And just see if I can get it to work while everything's going. That. I think I got you as mod. Start the poll. Uh, CPD is a Celestial Pearl Danio. <clears throat> Let's hope this thing works this time. Oh, actually, yes, it's going to work. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, this poll was actually to, to let you guys um, pick on what I should do with my with my cherry shrimp, um, whether I should move them all into my four foot planted aquarium um, with my white cloud mount minnows and the long arm shrimp, and <clears throat> also or keep them in their in their separate little tanks. Um, mind you, if I take them out of the little tanks, I have more tanks I can do stuff with, which is why I'm sort of in, in two minds. I do like the fact that they're um, Madaka. Hmm. I can't I don't even know what that was answer. <coughs> um, yeah, hopefully the this works all good this time. <coughs> um, <laughs> just to finish up the stream, but going on what everyone voted earlier, everyone voted to move them all into the same into the same tank. So we're just going to have one very very big skittle tank. Um, <laughs> skittle tank going this time. Are the Madakas, are they the um, rice fish there, Blake? <coughs> yeah, I thought so. Um, James, I think we know which one it's going to be. <laughs> um, you don't have to swap <laughs> swap over and, and vote twice. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm I'm kind of jealous with all you guys have like living in big cities. Um in having so many different pet stores and that that you can go and visit. Like out here I have two aquarium stores and um, one or two, oh, one really small pet store that I can actually go and go and buy fish supplies from, um, and the two pet store uh, aquarium stores are <clears throat> are um, a bit over an hour away. <laughs> I'm based up in. Cara, New South Wales, um, so about an hour west of um, about an hour west of Bathurst. Yeah, well, my closest one's 45 minutes away, and the next one is um, about an hour and 20 minutes away. Um, I can drive to Melbourne, where uh, not Melbourne, to Canberra. That's about two and a half hours away, where there's um, four or five 
aquarium stores if you want to travel and crisscross all over the all over the city and sometimes it can take you an hour and a half to get from one side of the city to the other so um yeah no i'm up in new south wales <laughs> so so yeah that's that's why when i do come across a nice a nice deal at the local pet store or fish store and that i usually jump on it and spend way too much money than what i should do um Yeah, that's kind of a bummer there, Chef. You could probably <laughs> you could probably make a fair bit of money if you did that. <clears throat> um, Um, but yeah, so when it, when it comes to, comes to, um, um, being close, being close to pet stores and that, like you guys do sort of have a, a little bit bigger, bigger range. Um, but the little ones I've got out here do the job and they're quite happy to ship in fish that I asked for. Um, if I want a special request and, and special order fish, um, mind you, it has taken a, taken a little bit to, um, build up that sort of relationship with the, with, the, um, fish stores there. So, um, but it's, it's good to be at a point now where I can actually go and, go and take my fish, fish to a aquarium store and, sell them along with my plants and stuff like and stuff like that so um which is good because now i'm starting to grow a lot more plants and i've got them growing really well i can take take sprigs off them and um, cuttings and take them to the um the aquarium store every time i go now and he's quite happy to take them um he's told me the more i can bring in the better um, he definitely prefer to, to per, prefer to um, buy from me and a couple of other local hobbyists. Um, he only buys from four people, and I'm one of the four, which is great. Um, yeah, he definitely prefer to only um, to buy from us <clears throat> instead of ordering in stuff from from. Um, bigger um retailers and not actually know what he's going to get and what sort of quality he's going to get where he knows from us that we're not going to take him taking crap or sick fish or plants that are dying or stuff like that and he knows that all our plants are immersed grown sorry submersed grown <clears throat> and um can adapt um very well and quickly into people's tanks and they not take the, take the plants back in a week and say, look, my plants all died. They all melted. So I pulled them out um, when he's selling crypts and stuff like that. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that hips hips and that I can't even say that word <laughs> I'm sorry yeah I'm not 100% sure what you mean by that <laughs> Yeah, that that could be um could be it, Chev. Ah, oh. yeah, right here. Yeah. 
I don't think we really need that that in the chat. Um, <clears throat> so we'll get rid of that. There's probably another another dislike coming. Um, <coughs> but yeah, um, <coughs> yes, yeah, so there's probably another dislike coming. <laughs> um, but yeah, so oh crap. I oh, lost me trying to floor. Thought big time. Um. <laughs> oh, thanks, Blake. <laughs> I wasn't sure if the remove button got rid of them or just the comment. So I just hit the timeout. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of those getting around. Like, I noticed there was a heap on your stream the other night, too. Just wanted to come in and and troll. It's like, do people will not have anything better to do than than um just <laughs> than just jump on fucking <laughs> <coughs> jump on and um mess people up like. <laughs> Yeah, no, Craig, um, YouTube sees a dislike as a dislike. Um, if you have a heap of dislikes on your channel, its algorithm sees it as people don't want to watch your content, so it's not going to put your content forward um, in front of other viewers. <clears throat> so the more dislikes you get, the, um, the chances that that video is not going to be seen as much as other videos. So if you have a lot of likes and and um good viewer retention and stuff like that and a lot of views and that um <coughs> um and uh, your videos will get pushed forward in uh, recommended um viewers for the next person. <laughs> yeah, probably they're acclimate. <laughs> yeah, they're fish a bit um if you do it too much, you do get a little red strike from um from YouTube. Um they don't like you doing it. So basically, every video that um that goes up is pre-screened by YouTube, and it picks up on words words like that. Um, so basically, when this stream ends, I'm cutting the first ten seconds of this video in the edit before it goes through processing. <clears throat> um, so yeah, before it gets before it goes through the process. The process and actually pops up as a video on the stream. Um, that very short intro will be um, cut out, <laughs> so I don't get red. I don't get red marked. Um, sometimes they let you go through with it, but if you do it too much, um, they will they will um, flag you. <clears throat> And sometimes your video won't go through. Um, it's also why when you upload videos and that, you have to upload whether the video is safe for kids to watch or not. Um, Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that may not work very well for him for that stream. <laughs> um, I, I think it just means too that it's the video itself that gets all the dislikes that doesn't get pushed forward. It's not so much all your content, it's just that single video. Um, I've been trying to keep up with with trends and that on on YouTube and how the algorithm works and all that sort of stuff. Um, I was doing that a lot before I actually started doing the videos and very shortly after I um, <clears throat> I started I started doing that sort of stuff. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, I've heard the same thing there, Blake, about the dislikes being being a bad thing. Um. And I think it. I think it's been in a couple of videos from um, Brian G. Johnson. Um, he's done a couple of videos on it. On um, dislikes versus likes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it does come up in the algorithm that people aren't aren't happy with your content, so therefore the YouTube algorithm won't push it towards a lot of people. Uh, oh, is that did Streamlabs just say vote again, did it? Oh, probably because I haven't cancelled the poll yet. <laughs> um. There we go. The poll's closed, so it shouldn't be shouldn't be getting up you anymore. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll complete it. The poll actually worked that time. Okay, good. That means next week I'll have it all under control. I've actually got to start the poll while the stream's going to get it to work. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we worked that out while this stream. So there we go. I've learned something during this stream. <laughs> Um, <coughs> yeah, Josh, I had a poll up there earlier, um, because I'm doing this through Streamlabs, I've been trying to work out, um, a few different things with polls and stuff like that, um, in asking you guys a few questions, a few questions. <laughs> Well, like, and I do have to get a. Um, <clears throat> I, I do have to get a um, big fish to eat the said cherry shrimp that will overpopulate the planter tank soon. Um, <laughs> hopefully, they they overpopulate and keep the keep the algae in it down to a minimum. Um, at the moment, the the long arm shrimp are doing a really good job of that. Um, <laughs> Monster in my title, eh? <clears throat> I'll probably end up doing a beta video well before I get 10,000 subs because. To be honest, I have no expectations on getting 10,000 subs. Um, I'm happy in um, just getting you guys to turn up each week and, and have a chat um, and 
liking and watching my videos as it is. I, I don't honestly think I could deal with having 30 or 40 people in these streams watching and chatting at the same time. I'm bad enough at watching you guys chat and try and keep up with you guys at the moment. <laughs> no, thanks, Chev. I'm um, glad you could drop in. Um, what are we up to now? Uh, I'll be pulling this up shortly anyway. Um, I don't like to go too much over the over the hour hour, but um, <clears throat> so I'll be pulling it up shortly anyway. <coughs> Um, I'm glad I got the input I wanted um, with the poll and I'll definitely work that out next week so it's a lot better um, better for the poll um, hey hooked on fish glad you could drop in um, it won't be too much longer before we before we hang up here um, <clears throat> yeah well actually it's the it's the only time in the week i can i can do the streams because at the moment the like i said the computer and everything i stream from is sitting in my dining room table is sitting right next to my dining room table so um sort of wednesdays Thursdays and Fridays through the weekend. Um, I have a four-year-old here, so it makes it a little bit harder to do streams when he's watching videos and banging with his toys and stuff like that. Um, and also the girlfriend's home. So Monday night is the only night I actually have free at this stage. And until next year when um, the young fella goes to school, and he'll be home every night. Um, so hopefully by then I'll have renovations of the house done and my computer and everything will be moved out to the new office. So we'll be able to stream from from out there. If not, we'll have to work out a new streaming time to, um, to stream from. So, But that's not until next year. So I have a long time to worry about that. But um, thanks for dropping in there, Craig. <clears throat> uh, I wouldn't really say you missed too much. Um, <laughs> thanks to DWS. Um, so basically, I'll just do a quick recap, then we'll then we'll hang up anyway. Um. I basically just ran over what was what was going to happen sort of in the next couple of weeks. Um, we're going to be buying um, PVC and the stuff I need to do the central air system. That'll be sort of brought in the next week or two, and that'll be going in. Um, also, we've had to turn off the central heater in the fish room um, mainly because my power bill went through the roof um, because it's only an old oil heater trying to heat heat that fish room that's not insulated um, my power bill nearly tripled in the last quarter um, <clears throat> so went from being eight hundred odd dollars um no I haven't there James and I did see you post there earlier that you messed with all my rules and stuff like that um <clears throat> but yeah so getting back to what I was talking about I did um yeah had to turn a few things off off had to turn a couple of heaters off in my thousand liter tote um that's for two reasons one being the power bill being so high, um, there was 500 watts of power going in that basically non-stop, um, just heating the tank. Um, so we've turned that off slowly over the last few days. 
Um, <clears throat> so we've been slowly turning that down and trying to acclimate the fish back into a colder, colder environment because they are actually going out to, um, out to the holding dam. <laughs> Anyone's welcome in this one there, Perth. <laughs> oh, Jace, sir, I say. <laughs> um, yeah, we also did a, a quick little poll on whether I should throw all my um, cherry shrimp into one four-foot planter tank with long arm shrimp and white cloud mountain minnows and a few old guppies. Um. <laughs> what, what, the good old 500 of them or whatever? <laughs> um, but yeah, so the, we, <laughs> we tried running a poll twice. Um, I, I got it to, um, I got um the got the poll working eventually and we we settled on um all the cherry shrimp goes into the four foot planter tank which also frees up two other tanks that I can do do things with, um which is probably a good thing. Um might even mean the white cloud mount minnows get a slightly bigger tank to breeding, um, which is probably a good thing. <coughs> um also lets me redo the scapes in those tanks. If I want to, um, and pull out the plants and and probably end up selling a few selling a few more plants in the in the few next coming weeks because we've got plants and that in the shrimp tanks so that I can probably probably pull out and um and sell on, which is at the present moment definitely needed. I um, also touched on that I'm only it, 28 or 27 subscribers away from giving away a um, sort of, uh, was it about a 45 centimeter piece, 18 inch piece of of driftwood with um, a heap of crested java fern over it and some Anubius Dana Petite stuck, up, stuck on it. <clears throat> um, and and eventually what the biggest part on that one is going to be working out shipping for it um, and how I'm, how I'm going to be able to ship that thing safely and the reason why I picked it, Crested Java Fern and Anubius Nana is because I am pretty sure unless the rules have changed again I am pretty sure I can send that anywhere in the country. <clears throat> um, where my last my last plan giveaway, I was restricted to um, not being able to send it to um, Western Australia, Northern Territory, or um, Tasmania. Um, <clears throat> Um, track stars, all right, too. There, Jace. <clears throat> yeah, the wireless, mo the road wireless mics, definitely to go. I use um. Actually, I still got to do that video too. Um, I use Boyo, um, located up in um, New South Wales, about an hour west of Bathurst in a town called Cowra. Yeah, I use the, the Boyer, Boyer mic. Yeah, I'd definitely get Daphnia um, there, Benji, but I have... 
nowhere around here that actually sells Daphnia, and I can't seem to find it in any ponds or, or dams or anything floating around here. So when I can find it, I'm definitely going to grab it and try and... Um, <clears throat> and and definitely try and grow it and propagate it a little bit. Um, yeah, I haven't really looked into buying. Um, buying it yet because I really need to get get a tank set up um, dedicated for Daphnia um, and to do that I really need to get the temperatures and that stable in my fish room where at the moment they're not so I probably won't worry about that until after I get the get the fish room built and um, everything sorted properly Um, yeah, I uh, just don't, at the moment, all the water around here is brown. <laughs> um, we've had, just over the weekend, if we haven't had snow, we've had rain. And, um, and we've had nearly three inches of rain over the last, last few days, so. <laughs> yeah i've looked into how to grow it and how to uh, propagate them it's just a matter of um uh fish are the best place to look at gumtree man gumtree or facebook ads uh facebook groups just go into a buy swap and sell cell page that's near you man and just type in that you're looking for fish tanks and see what comes out everyone has a fish tank of some description sitting in the back of their shed that they don't know what to do with until they see someone post a, a uh, post something um about someone looking for a fish tank then you get that many messages about them it's not funny <clears throat> I've just got a thing that I like um, supporting my local pet stores and fish stores so I have the money to go and buy new tanks so I will um, that and I want to try and keep all the tanks a uniform size <clears throat> just so it's easy to build stands and stuff like that for um, so that's the reason why I'm going with the with the tanks that I've got. <clears throat> yeah, I like newer tanks for the main reason is you don't know what's been in the other tanks. Like um, a lot of people clean a tank with chemicals to sell it. <clears throat> um, and and you just don't know. Um, you don't know what diseases have been in that tank. Like a lot of people will shut down their tanks because their fish have got an ick or something like that. And um, sometimes that can survive in a tank. Um, and other diseases can. So. I think there's just a lot more work in buying a second-hand tank. Like, if I buy a second-hand tank, it doesn't matter whether the tank's fairly new or old, I will always, always reseal the tank. Um, I'll always cut out the silicon out of the corner and at least, re at least semi-reseal the tank um, if I don't cut the tank, in, tank to pieces and, and reseal it properly. Um... Yeah, I just find find secondhand tanks can be annoying. Unless they're mine and I know they don't have have diseases and that in them. Um, but yeah. 
tanks that are left outside are definitely definitely bad ca candidates for it. Um, and a lot of people will try and sell you a tank that's been cracked that they've just siliconed up, um, and still want like three or four hundred dollars for it. They are absolutely hilarious. Look, like you got to buy a four foot tank and it's got to crack through the bottom of it because I've had it sitting sitting on a brick or something like that and it's half filled up with water sitting out in the rain and it's cracked <laughs> I'm like oh we didn't see that we still want two hundred dollars for it it's like well no it's broken <laughs> um but yeah so thanks everyone for coming along i think i'm gonna end it end it here um and um yeah so thanks everyone for coming along um and i'll catch you all all next week for the next live stream so thanks for coming